Hi everyone, if you've been recording on HDR inside your iPhone, whether intentional or by mistake, you may notice that when you bring your footage into DaVinci Resolve, the colors looked rather washed out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you four different ways of being able to convert those HDR videos and to make the colors look like they would normally. Okay, so what's kind of going on? So on your iPhone, when you actually do a preview, um, let me just bring up a example or on say on a Mac the colors look perfectly fine exactly like you recorded them but as soon as you bring that footage into DaVinci Resolve then it looks kind of meh kind of all the colors are just completely washed out so on the Apple um, devices there is kind of I guess a special mechanism that converts those colors to make it look like from HDR into normal kind of screens but that doesn't exist on DaVinci Resolve so we're going to have to find a way of being able to emulate that so as I said these are four different ways of being able to do it so you can see which one works for you okay what you want to do first of all is make sure DaVinci Resolve is managing the colors so click on the cog down the bottom with little cog symbol for your project settings and then make sure you have color management selected and you're looking for to make sure it says DaVinci YRGB color managed. You may find it's actually set to YRGB, but change it to YRGB color managed and then click save. And now this is the first way to actually do the transform. So you're going to be clicking on effects on the top left hand corner and then do a search if you can't see it and look for color space transform. When you find that, then just simply drag it on to your clip. And then you'll notice on the right hand side, the effects panel pops up and it says color space transform. Now what we want to do is where it says input color space, we're gonna click on that, scroll all the way to the bottom and then go to rec 2020. And for input gamma, you're going to change that to gamma 2.4, that's what I find works for me. And you should notice there has been some change already to the colors. Now at the output color space, we're going to be choosing Rec 709. And now you find your colors are going to look much more like they did when you actually recorded it. So let's just quickly pop it up. That's the original here. And if we do a comparison, we should see that the colors look more or less better than they did when you first bought it in DaVinci Resolve. And you can kind of flick the, the actual switch here and see the changes. But you may notice that it's still not quite as punchy or as colorful as you kind of hoped it would be. So it's just a case of going into your color tab and just bringing a little bit of a contrast. So you can do that by clicking on the little curvy S here, um, where it's got a little black dot at the bottom. I like to bring that guy up a bit and you can see that if you do it too much, it's gonna go quite dark, but kind of around about sort of, you know, a few centimeters or so in, and then it's going to make your colors look a little bit, a bit nicer. And you can also go to the color wheel here and where it's got color boost, I like to increase that up a little bit to make the colors just stand out a bit more. And you may want to brighten your picture depending on kind of uh, the actual footage. Okay, so the second way is quite similar to the first way, we're just gonna do it in a different way. And that is click on the actual uh, clip you want, then go to the color tab, find the clip on the actual uh, clips on the color tab. If you find the clips aren't showing, then make sure that the actual clips at the top here is selected, so they should appear underneath your viewer. Then right click on that clip, and we're looking for input color space, bring it across and then go to Rec 2020 and then Rec 2020 Scene. And now you can just do a little bit of a kind of adjustment in this um, curve sign here and maybe make it just change the contrast to what you fancy and also increase the color boost just like we did in the very first example. So that's the second way. Let's now go to the third way. In the third way is also in the color tab. You can do this also using nodes. So make sure your nodes is selected. So if there's not, then you're going to click on where it says nodes at the top. Then right click on the actual first node and do add, add serial node. And you should get just a copy of it here. So it's very much like layers in Photoshop or something like that. And then we're going to go to effects 
at the top here to a search for say coal or color to find the color space transform drag that onto the second node and I'm going to get kind of similar as we see on the first example I'm going to choose for input color space rec 2020 input gamma is going to be 2.4 and you can notice some change and then change your color output space to rec 709 and once again you can just be making some changes to the contrast to make a little bit sort of similar to what your original footage was like so that's the third way of doing it all right, so onto the fourth way. Now this is actually not using the actual color transform at all. I actually find it's you get pretty good effects just by changing the color and contrast, to be honest. So here's the actual footage, again, in the color page. And my favorite way of doing it is just to use this S uh, tool here. I think it's called S tool, we're not sure what it curves. So it's here. And uh, they're going to bring, bring the contrast by increasing the angle, the sharpness of the line, if not used this tool before. So we're going to bring the actual darks up a bit to something like that. And then maybe increase the brightness, which you can do by dragging this one to the left. And then going to my color wheel here and the color boost, I like to set you know fairly high. And you should now notice that the colors uh, may be a little bit too much uh, my color boost but the colors are going to be look so much nicer than they did in, in the original thing if we'd actually do a comparison that's the washed out version from the rec 2020 and just by doing a bit of contrast and color we get this which is good looking so much nicer so you well i've done some comparisons between the four different methods and to be honest and um, for speed, I found that just by doing simple contrast and color boosts actually gives pretty good effects um, if you don't want to be good doing the actual technical details of going through the color management way. But for those purists who want to kind of do it the proper way, in uh, air quotes, then there's three different ways of doing it. Hope this is useful, guys. And of course, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on DaVinci Resolve.